Yes, yes. It's the Raphael Dawkins with the Combat Radio. And today we're looking at Michael Hunter versus Jerry Forrest. On the thriller card last night, Michael Hunter was expected to handle Jerry Forrest relatively comfortably. That's not how it worked out. Okay, we've seen Jerry Forrest before against Zilly Zhang. We've seen him against Carlos Takam. Drew with Zilly Zhang, lost to Carlos Takam. He's a durable fella, durable heavyweight. He's uh, on the smaller side for a heavyweight, but pretty much similar dimensions to Michael Hunter. Something that I found quite interesting was Michael Hunter was not... Uh oh well, we see you right there. We see you right there. Michael Hunter was not observing the the conventional rules of footwork versus the southpaw. Jerry Forrest being a southpaw, uh, Michael Hunter has often had his lead foot smack bang in the middle in between Jerry Forrest's feet. When typically the orthodox fighter will try to keep his lead leg on the outside of the Southpaw's lead leg. Uh, it's not compulsory. It's just advised, advisable. Michael Hunter was not observing those rules. I gotta say, Jerry Forrest was fighting dirty. He was hit. He hit on the break multiple times. It's part of his strategy. So I don't give many points for. Don't give many points for the dirty, the dirty action. Once again, we see. See Michael Hunter with his lead leg on the inside of the lead leg of the Southpaw Forest. And uh, what's he going to do now? Change direction. Boom. Once again. Once again. Yeah. Uh, it's not good. Not good at all. Uh, I wasn't. Uh, like I say, you don't have to. You don't have to observe those rules. But if you don't observe those rules, then that's what happens. You are open all day to the left hand of the southpaw and that's the power hand you see michael hunter's lead leg there smack bang in the middle leaving yourself open and vulnerable to that the left of the southpaw and that's what happened all night long it was open and vulnerable and he was getting smacked with that left of jerry forrest all night long no joke What's the foot positioning like here? Okay, no action. What are we going? What's the foot positioning like here? Once again, smack bang in the middle. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. What happens? Boom, the left. Missed that time. But there you go. That's the story of the whole fight. What else was there? Yeah, no, Michael Hunter threw up <laughs> at the end of the sixth round. Fight can be stopped for that. Fight can be stopped for throwing up in the corner. The fight was not stopped. Yeah, Michael Hunter, some say he escaped with a draw. I think I'd have to agree with that. I think that uh, Jerry Forrest did enough to win the fight. Michael Hunter, I don't know if he's got a story. I don't know if he's got a story, but he certainly looked somewhat out of sorts, but that doesn't explain the foot positioning. Like I say, it's not compulsory that you adhere to the the, the outside foot position against the south pole, but blimey, uh, if you don't, you open yourself to a barrage of lefts, lefts, left punches, punches from the left side, and that's what happened to Michael Hunter. I spoke to his trainer on the outside of the ring, and uh, he said that Michael was circling the opposite direction to the way he wanted him to circle. So it seems that, you know, hmm, there was some kind of disconnect there. Jerry Forrest, I feel he came out from the start confident because he's pretty much similar size. Say, so you ain't bigger than me. You ain't bigger than me. This is my chance to shine. This is my chance to shine. And uh, yeah, he started the two. He was the one walking forward all night long. And uh, he was the one. He was the dog in the fight. He was the one with the dog in the fight. Uh, Michael Hunter escapes. Michael Hunter escapes with a draw. Clipped. Clipped Forrest multiple times. Who's going to clip who here? Forrest has got his right there. Cocked. Who's going to clip who? Uh-oh. 
That's a good little girly punch from Forrest. <laughs> well, not really. Look at that spray. Looked like it was a kind of girly punch, but damn. Caught him all out of position. He's throwing up. Hunter throwing the uppercut. And Forrest coming, clipping him with the right. Forrest was just, just, he was just first. More often than Michael Hunter. So Michael Hunter escapes with a draw, escapes by the skin of his teeth in a fight which he most likely deserved to have lost. But he escapes with a draw and lives to fight another day. Lucky, lucky, lucky fella. Okay, it's the Raphael Dawkins, it's the Combat Radio. It's the like, it's the subscribe, it's the comments, it's the shares. Hit the bell icon for news and notifications. Michael Hunter. Gets a split decision draw versus Jerry Forrest.